All right, I'm going to show you how to install Contact Player and Factory Content for your course. Uh, it's just the free version. So in the link in your course is in the introduction section under first steps and right at the bottom. Once you click on the link that says please click here and make sure that you takes you to the proper page and make sure that you get the download link for both the player which is above and you'll have to put in your email and it'll send you a link and then also the factory selection you need this as well because this is all your sounds the player doesn't have any sounds with it these are the free included sounds with it and again type in your email address click on get download link it'll email you the link for to download the both the player and the factory content as well the factory content needs a, C, a key and that key is also emailed to you as well so please be aware of that you'll have to input your key in order to activate it later on so once you've downloaded the player and you go to your download location on your, on your hard drive and you run it you run the setup file and it brings you to here and I just want to run through this just quickly with you guys just so that I know that you're putting uh, you're setting it up properly make sure that you have the VST plugin installed as well because that's how you access it in Ableton Live. You can put the program in the basic space. That's totally fine. Program files, yep. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because you want to put the VST plugins where all your other VST plugins are installed. For this course, you have just one. I'm, I only show this one. But for other courses or other, other applications, you want to make sure all your VST plugins are in the same location. So for me, I usually put them in... Um, I have my computer and then I put them on C drive and then I actually have a folder all by itself called VST plugins and I just install my VST plugins there so make sure when you get to this part with the VST plugin make sure you remember where you install them and install all your VST plugins to that same folder because Ableton Live is only able to point to one folder so very 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 important now I click on next, next I install the entire program and then once it installs I'll go into live and I will show a second video on how to set this up uh, within live.